Okay, we're here at uh, District Court. Outside uh, courtroom A on the uh, seventh floor with um, Lalani Teal waiting for the trial, her trial on a disorderly. But before that, of course, it'll be a decision to whether to let Hawaii Gorilla video hui, which you're watching. <laughs> We are always watching. We are watching back. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to get in front of your way. Third day of trial, first one was continued. Second one, uh, they didn't like our cameras, didn't think we were a legitimate uh, media crew, and this is the third day. It's also the third prosecutor. So. The banner she's referring to is the Kanavai banner, Kanavai Mamalahoi, which we brought because that's what it's about. Also, uh, here, a reporter from the Star Advertiser interested in the media aspect of it. Also, um, Larry Geller of disappearednews.com. Okay. Who is that? Tell us the about prosecutor. It. He's the third prosecutor, um, Mr. Dawson. Why do they keep changing prosecutors? Um, I think the prosecutor's office is really busy. <laughs> they do a lot of prosecuting. And Any real crimes? <laughs> well, apparently not the ones that I've been dealing with, you know, um, not the ones that pertain to me and the people I know and those people who are suffering from a lot of abuse by the government. Tell us what you're holding and why you're holding that. This is a symbol of Kanawai Mamalahoy. It's literally a paddle. Um, it was used by youth to paddle canoes until it broke, and so now it's being used as a symbol of Kanawai Mawalahoi. It's been used in um, ceremonies, you know, that to celebrate Kanawai Mawalahoi and its importance and its spiritual basis of what is Pono here in Hawaii. Um, it's, it's been used to um, you know, it was used in APEC with Lynette Cruz then when we, um, we went across the road to educate people about what was going on with APEC. Um, it was used in the ceremony that began the encampment of, um, of uh, the Kanabai Mamalhoi encampment during APEC. And um, it was used also during um, educational endeavors at Thomas Square. And as you can see, during one of those efforts, actually I believe it was on February the 1st, it was tagged. Um, this is the tag that the city and county of Honolulu uses to mark property that they are saying is being stored 
publicly and so therefore subject to confiscation. Now, notice this paddle, so this, this kind of shows what they really feel about Kanavai Mamalahoy. They want to tag it and put it in a garbage can, which is what they do with stored property. Um, this, I, I won't unroll it right now, but you can kind of see it. Um, this was never tagged. So I think there's an important difference. This was tagged, this was not tagged. Um, this was taken. This was not taken because I held it in my hands. And although they have taken things from people, from their hands in the past, they even walked onto private property to take things from people right out of their hands. Um, so even though they've done that, yeah, there's the, there's the banner painted by Raul Gonzalez, um, an indigenous artist who uh, is from uh, California, and he's, a, he's an awesome mural artist, and so he painted this with aloha. He hadn't even, he barely finished. The paint was not even dry when it was taken. So the law says, the law that they used to tag this object says that Kanavai Mamalahoy, I'm sorry, <laughs> well, it says Kanavai Mamalahoy doesn't matter. And basically, <laughs> by doing this, obviously, but um, it says <laughs> under Ordinance 11-029, um, it says that property that's tagged then has 24 hours to be removed. Well, right. um, this was never tagged and it was removed less than 24 hours after it was made. Right. I have a receipt for the materials that wasn't even 24 hours old. Didn't they go straight to that tent too? They did. Yeah, yeah and, they, and, the, and, and I should mention that that's all they took. It right. was, was this and, um, and some art supplies. And, and another um, two artwork, two, two other paintings by um, an artist named Michael Daly who um, painted two two other pieces. One of them says, which of course is the phrase that was told, um, was spoken by Kaukeo Uli, who this building is named That's after. That's right. Um, in 1843, on the first law of Hawaii'ea, when sovereignty was returned to Hawaii. So, um, um, Yes, yeah, so they took they took that from Thomas Square, and I should mention that Thomas Square was the place where that phrase was first uttered. So they took Wamaokea of Aina Ikopono away from Thomas Square. They took Mamalahoi away from the caretakership that it was under and the ceremony that it was meant for for that for the next day. And um, you know, and of course they had already tagged this paddle. So I think we can get kind of a picture of what this occupying government feels about, about what it really means to live Hawaiian culture and the laws of this land, the true laws of this land, which are uamau ke'ea o ka'aina i ka'pono and Kanawai Mamalahoi, the law of the splintered paddle, which says that all people should be protected from government wrongdoing. And it also says that any government that does not respect the rights of the people shall die, that it shall fall. And at this point, I think we have a very clear case as to the wrongdoings of that government and its abuse of the people, which culminated in its arrest of me and the taking of the Kanawai Mamalapoi banner and its refusal to return it. So um, we'll see how it goes today, but essentially um, I'm here to participate in their ritual, <laughs> their temple, 
Now, what will happen if uh, they're coming up against their own deadlines? What if uh, they can't uh, try you in a timely way? Well, that is entirely possible. I mean, it's getting pretty late in the day right now. They've mysteriously put us at the end of the calendar, uh, even though they know that this is important and that they're up against the Rule 48 deadline. Um, however, um, it, it would be a mistrial, or it would be a it, it would be a um, it, it basically the the whole thing kind of flops on their end. You know, they can't they can no longer prosecute me once that deadline is passed. Right. So that's uh, next week, I think. So. Um, the chances on, of getting on their calendar between now and then are kind of slim, so we may not be able to do this particular ritual of theirs right. that they've invited me to. We may not be able to per participate in their ceremony. However, we will make our own ceremony. And, if that's what it and is. will we invite them? Yes, they will be invited. They're always invited. Everyone's always invited. And so um, they will be invited, and of course, there's no um, there are no negative feelings towards any person. I, I want to be very clear about that. That you know, the last line of Kanavai Mamalahoi is heaven no market. But I want to be very clear that what we're talking about is no longer a person. Back in the days when. Um, when Kanabai Mabalahoy was written, individuals had power, yeah? There was a king, there, was, there were chiefs. Those individuals had power and they had responsibility to the people. Now we live in a time where individuals have no power, no power to do what is one of at all. And so because of that, it's not any individual who, according to the Kanabai, should make. It's this illegal occupation this government, this false government that has been set up, unfortunately, I mean, we've all been living under it most of our lives, and, um, you know, it, it, in a way, it's a reality, I mean, we have to deal with it and interact with it every day, but at the same time, that does not make it any more legitimate, because they've forced us to interact with it. They've forced us to quote unquote be part of it, but we're not part of it. We are the change, we are the new system that is about to be born. And um, you know, all the people here are part of that change. And you know, we intend to create something better, something that respects human rights for all people, that something that respects the Aina, something that respects the ancient cultures something that respects everyone's knowledge and everyone's gifts and talent and freedom. That's what we're looking to build. Thank you. And uh, even before your trial begins, they have to settle another question, which is whether a uh, Hawaii guerrilla video hui, like this guy, <laughs> can, actually, can actually cover the uh, trial or not, even though a judge said it was okay. That, that camera's kind of small, bro. I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you want a bigger one? 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 That ain't sufficient, you know. In fact, this is. You're well with it. This is. This uh, is Kamuel Vance Viveros, who uh, is a member of the Hawaii Guerrilla Video Hui, and who had a a. Um, <laughs> Film. <laughs> who had a who had a film uh, recently uh, had a world premiere at the Hawaii International Film Festival. Uh, uh, was that film Kalo Culture? Was that taken with with this uh, camera? In fact, it was taken with a camera similar to this. I see. Yeah, one. Well, I had two actually. I had one 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 of those. I had a big one. I had a, actually a one ten. Whoa, like that's one of like. These and <laughs> one small like this. I it's see. Like and that looked pretty good on the big screen, actually. Yeah. It did. Yeah, kind of biased a little bit, maybe, but I thought it looked really good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so we have we have a big kind of. Uh, that's now that's big. 
Yeah, but, uh, yeah, it's especially big when you stick it in your face. <laughs> we're, we're talking about the camera. We're talking about the camera. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I know we're live streaming. That's all I have to do. But but you're not part of the hui, are you? <laughs> no, you are. Actually, I just I just point this at people. I don't use the footage, but I just point this styrofoam thing at people to get get have fun. Oh really? Okay, you got that big. I got it's live. It's like. <laughs> Just have fun with no, actually, everybody's a, a so part of the hui. That's Orin. As Rome goes. And uh, Laulani also is a member of the hui. Um, As goes Rome. Who goes has. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have food day. We're, are we telling the audience here about food day? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Food day. Oh, at the Food Not Bombs potluck is and music jam session. Okay, we got something going on here. I'm going to have to...